Hi, welcome everyone. In today's video, I'm going to tell you how to visualize a graph for an equation in which you have a quadratic function and a moderator to the quadratic function. So in other words, it means that you have a baseline quadratic function model, uh, which can be a U-shaped function or an inverted U-shaped function. And we are trying to find that if a moderator can shift the u-shape curve or the inverted u-shape curve so the example equation is shown here that you can see that um, dependent variable independent variable and its square then uh, one moderator and it's a cross product with the independent variable and cross product with independent variable square so alpha 2 and alpha 3 will give us uh, idea of the shape of the quadratic curve uh, alpha 4 will be the intercept of the quadratic curve how where it starts and alpha 5 will tell us how this moderator cul will change the uh, initial shape of the curve uh, or in other words how it will change alpha 2 and then alpha 6 will tell us how it will change the second portion of the curve uh, it can be decreasing in the case of inverted u shape so how cul will change alpha 3 so this is the equation so this way, uh, if you have estimated this equation, uh, then I will tell you how to estimate, uh, how to plot the results. So after estimating the model, uh, following are my results. I have coefficient of uh, first variable, coefficient of its square, coefficient of the moderator, coefficient of moderator into the independent variable, coefficient of moderator into independent variable square. So once I have this data, what I can do is I can plot it on uh, on an, a graph using a template that uh, is available on the following website. If you open this website, uh, jeremydawson.co.uk slash slopes.htm. On this website, you have uh, several templates available which you can use to plot graphs. In my previous video, I've used the the template of quadratic regression to show how to uh, plot a quadratic graph or a qu quadratic function but in this example i have a quadratic function and a moderator so for that i have to use this quadratic two-way interaction so it's a plotting curvilinear interaction between quadratic term effect and a moderator so when you click this it will download an excel file and i will show you that excel file here so this will be the template and when I show it on the word file simultaneously, now we can plot by putting the values. So my independent variable is L, G, N, I. My, my moderator is C, C, U, L. And the independent variable value is minus 46.21. And square variable is 0 0.88. Moderator value is minus 15.62. I'm putting this first column only because others are some other models. And then I have a moderate interest of 1.21 and minus 0 0.02. This way I have uh, some values. Then I need to put intercept. In this model, I didn't have an intercept, so I will put it zero. If you don't have this variable, suppose in your model, you are not including this portion of the moderator. You are only looking at the first moderator rather than a uh, full moderator. So you can put zero here because you didn't use this variable. Or some people also don't include the uh, this variable because they they want to assume that there is no change in intercept, so you can put moderator also zero. So uh, you will assume that it is zero. Next, you need to give some uh, initial values for the data to be plotted. So for that, I will show you uh, how to fill it. So for that, uh, you need to get the mean value of the independent variable. This is 25.00. And its standard deviation is also given 2.01. Uh, moderator variable that I used is this one. So its mean value is 44.36. And uh, its standard deviation is 23.14. When I add all the values, you can maximize the graph. Now the issue is that graph is not showing here. So um, once first thing you need to know is the bad, background calculations are shown here. If I col color it red, you will see the background calculations now i notice is that the values numbers are big and the scale is small that's why graph is not showing here so the thing that you can use is you can double click the y-axis it will show you the format axis option you can press the reset buttons 
and then adjust the scale so it is starting from zero i can do it minus five minus four hundred so this way graph is now showing clearly okay then you can add the dependent variable name that is gain okay and move it little bit outward so that it is it is viewable then you can add titles if you want you should go here add a, add a, add a title on the top similarly you can move the legend wherever you want so you can go here and move the legend on the bottom and then uh, increase the width of the graph and add the title that you want to add the second problem is that the the y axis x axis values are showing in between the graph you can also edit it by double clicking here format axis axis options you can come down and you can see here is the horizontal axis crosses so i can specify some specific value that can be uh, minus 580 so that y axis comes down this way you have plotted the graph and you can uh, zoom it in again by by changing these numbers i can change it to maximum so it can be 420 it is more increased and you can here add uh, 75 okay. so this way uh, more details so in this graph the bending is not visible but the shifting is shown so this way you can plot the quadrant quadrant functions with uh, moderators so i hope you understood the how to make a graph the major issue that people faced was that how to see the graph they, they were not able to adjust the scales that's why uh, the graph was not showing another thing to note is when you copy it in your word file make sure you copy it as a picture otherwise if you change it here it will also change it in the word file or uh, if you want to make another graph then make sure that you use some other excel file not this one so if you want to fix it then when you copy it when you go into the word file then you should make sure that it should be pasted special as a uh, click it here you have to paste it as a picture so that it will not be changed even if the excel file is changing and you can add the title and if you click the graph you can also change the designs if you want uh, but uh, you can change the colors of the lines by clicking here and going format and change the colors so anything that you can do it's editable here but if you paste it as a picture then it will be fixed uh, one disadvantage of pasting at a picture is that that you cannot increase the quality of the picture anymore its uh, pixel density will be fixed but if you paste it as it is then the advantage is that you can increase the font size anytime if you want to make it bigger like you can click it here and you want to uh, increase the font size like this so that uh, the bigger graph is readable so for that the challenge is that if you want to make two of these graphs then you should keep them separate this means that you you save this template file separately for both graphs rather than making both of them from same file i hope you understood the challenges in making this graph and you will be using it in your models and, and making your uh, estimates more more likable more more visualizable and 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 understandable for the readers thank you